What you see here is a theoretical chemical model of a material that we've created at Drexel. It's called strontium calcium ruthenate with chemical formula SRCARU206. The different colored spheres in this three dimensional rendering of the material correspond to the different chemical elements in the structure strontium, calcium, ruthenium, and oxygen. The distance between the atoms is less than one nanometer, and when this very small cell is tiled throughout space, it creates a macroscopic crystal that you could hold in your hand or find in an electronic device. The interesting thing about this material is that it's a polar metal. That means it has a well-defined polarity. It has a positively charged end and a negatively charged end, just like a water molecule, due to the asymmetric distribution of electrons as indicated by the arrow. You'll see that a similar uneven distribution of electrons is also found in our material, strontium calcium ruthenate. This is because of the displacements of the metal cations and the oxygen atoms. Typically, polar metals are insulating and transparent like glass, but this one is theoretically predicted to be a metal. It's able to conduct electricity and it's opaque. We also predict it to have ultra-fast thermal conduction abilities. There are only three other polar metal oxides known like this one to exist, but now that we understand how they're chemically arranged, scientists will be able to find more of them and even create them in labs. This research is something we're really excited about and it's only happening at Drexel.